This is the L293D motor driver. Okay. This one we will use. You have it in your starter kit. Please watch again the labels. Please note again that there is this little notch on the side and there is even on my on mine at least there is even a dot where pin number one is. Okay. This is the motor driver we are using. With this one we can turn our motor left and right and whatever and whatever speed we like. Okay. Hello and welcome to the last exercise in DC motors. For the explanation, we are talking about the L293D motor driver. The L293 motor driver, it does have a this layout. 16 pin layout, there's the notch, pin number 16 here is power supply and here we apply with plus 5 volt. This is for the logic. This is for the logic and our, our These are the pins. And all the middle pins, yeah, these here connected to ground and these are also connected to ground. Yeah. They also have uh, uh, the heat sink. Yeah. So in there there might be a lot of heat and they try to get it out. This is why there are four four ground pins to get out the heat. Yeah. So what do we have? We also have a second VCC2 yeah. and this we can apply to how many volts we would like. Yeah. How many volts our motor is about to is ready to take. Yeah. This we can apply here. Okay. Then here here we have one channel input and output yeah and down here we have a second channel yeah? input and output yeah? and above here we have an enable channel 1 and 2 enable yeah all the other pins we don't currently need. What does this mean? If I or somebody else, if you apply here, if this is enabled, it's enabled. If it's not enabled, we get here on the outputs ground value. Okay, that's one thing. This enable is switching on and off the outputs regardless of the input, of the state of the inputs. This is the enable pin. If this is high, the output will work. Okay. The output, however, if the output is only high, if also the corresponding input is high. Okay. That's important. If the input is high, the output is connected to this voltage, to this voltage here, not to this, to this. Yeah. And if this is low, the output is connected to ground. Okay. So, this means if I connect here to one, this one, and this one, and also this one. This I will connect to the Arduino. The Arduino is then telling either this is one or this is one and the other one is zero. Then I have this on ground and this on voltage. Okay? Or other way around, 
this on voltage and this on ground. So I could switch voltage in voltage in this direction or in this direction. This is why I apply here the motor. The motor is connected to these outputs here. Okay? Here we have got the motor. Yeah? And so if this is plus and this is zero, it will turn in one direction. If this is plus and this is zero, it will turn in the other direction. Okay? So I can switch directions. And with the enable pin, I can turn off and on. Tuck, 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 tuck. And so I can manipulate the voltage on the motor. Yeah? By pulse width modulation. So I can select if it's turning fast and slow. There's even li a little bit more on the motor. There are diodes inside and so on, which are needed to, to uh, get rid of some the motor inductivity. Uh, you cannot simply turn off a motor. There needs uh, a Freilauf diode, must there be. So free run diode, is this the correct word? I'm not sure. Yeah, Simply to let down the current gentle and not fast. Yeah? So we can select if the motor is turning left and right. Everything with just one side of this motor driver. The other motor, the other side is doing exactly the same, by the way. The other side, there is also a 3A, 3 input, 3Y. There is also a 4A and a 4 output. Yeah? And there is also an enable. Yeah? 3 and 4 enable. We have both times the same thing. The only thing which is necessary is that both motors can be applied with the same current, with the same voltage level. Yeah. Okay, so this is it. Yeah. This is our, our, our application. We just need one side of this motor driver. The other side is empty for us now. Okay. Okay, so let's start and build this up in hardware. Here is my, my, mo my motor driver. Notch is on that side. Remember, I will plug it in this way. Yeah. So, let's see what we need. We need on one side, yeah, here on this side, pin number 16, I need plus 5 volts. Then I need a bunch of ground ones. These are the ones in the middle. Switch to ground. Actually, at this application, it's really not necessary to connect all, but for the sake of learning, I will connect all of them. I'll connect all of them. Minus, minus, and one last. Minus, minus. What else do we need? A second, a second uh, power supply. I will use an orange line here and give it away from the upper or from the from the lower from the lower power supply bar. Yeah, I'm still using. I'm again using this for power supply. Yeah, so that's one. And then, of course, I need my engine, gentlemen, start up your engines. I would need to, uh, I've said I'm using this side, so this is the lower side. So there is one here and one here. Okay. Good. Then I need my Arduino. Pack. Then I need one thing for turning in on one side. Yeah. I need one thing to turn it. Where is the hole here? Always, always a question. Uh, I will use it on pin number three, four, or whatever. Here, four, 
I just have to get sure that on my enable pin, this is the enable pin here, here I need a pin with pulls with modulation for your six. Yeah. And then the other way, the other way is here, four, five, six. I'm using now four, five, six. Okay, this is our hardware setup. Yeah? We have connected, ooh, one important part is missing, of course, the ground connection. Ground connection, because without this, our Arduino has a, a, a wrong, a wrong uh, voltage level, yeah? reference voltage level. Good, yeah. That's that's it for the hardware setup. Let's hope this is working. Okay, let's come to the software part. Let's code a program which is testing this little thing. Okay. I'm a space, I'm using the last program from last time. I will save it under a new name. It's 27 motor motor directional I call it motor direction yes motor direction I changed the motor pin this is now six this is the enable pin okay then I have got a, a direction one pin that's the pin number four and I have a direction two pin that's the pin number five yeah motor step six step time i will let this yeah so the pin modes motor pin is an output of course and of course the direction pin number one is an output and also the number two is an output yeah? so this one is expanded and this time i do want to go from minus motor steps motor steps and here we say smaller or equal okay if i is less than zero if i is less than zero so this means i should turn in one direction yeah i will simply make a digital digital right right to d1 bin is high whatever this means and tier 2 bin is low so i'm setting one direction okay so i'm setting this one pin to high and this other direction pin to low that we have a certain polarity of the of the value okay and then I will I will also apply a value here yeah? and then the value we have to output value is is 255 minus 255 because I is minus multiplied with I divided by motor steps this is what I need to write this is this is what I need to write to the navel pin okay else I will use exactly the same however I turn over low and high now the polarity of the voltage is in the other direction and here of course I have to write 255 because I is positive now or zero and should work. Okay, and here I have an analog write, and this here I don't need anymore. I could say just value. Yeah. Okay, 
I think this looks already already pretty nice I guess yeah let's see if we can upload it's compiled it up ooh, ooh, ooh. there is already something doing it's getting slower now it's in standstill Oh, come on, come on, ah, now it's turning this direction, getting faster. Ooh, wow, have you seen? Back, suddenly changed direction, now it's turning in this direction. Make it bigger for you, yeah, to watch. So now it's turning in this direction. Getting faster, 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 and now suddenly turn in the other direction. Yeah, why is this? Because we are changing from minus to plus. Now we are. Have you seen? It's turned this direction, and now we start to turn this direction. You see, it's already difficult for the motor to start at low at low revs. It's difficult for the motor to start. So this seems to work. This really seems to work that we can change direction of the motor yeah, and speed of the motor. Okay, so this is actually this is actually quite nice. What we could do, what we could do now is that we are changing that we are changing the voltage level of the motor. Yeah? This has to be done with a little care. Yeah? With a little care. I am not using then this, this 5 volts here. Yeah? I will apply a little bit more and see if the motor is still capable of doing this. Yeah? You can override an electric motor without any harm if you do not do it too long yeah the thing is there is a lot of current rushing in this in there will get hot yeah if it's getting too hot then something is broken something is destroyed yeah as long as if this is not getting too hot everything is fine yeah and the more voltage you apply the sooner it will get too hot yeah here, in this case, where we do not really, really have full power all the time, yeah, we can apply a little bit more voltage. This is also done on, on, on electric cars and so on. Yeah? They still, they simply, because you don't use full power all the time. You usually use very low power. And if you use full power, you cannot do it for a prolonged time. Yeah? Because they are simply overrating or overrating they are simply overriding the maximum values yeah? they, are, they are going into extremes yeah? to have a small motor yeah? needs usually less energy yeah? we'll try exactly the same here we'll apply now here some other voltage okay so let's see how this is turning out and change the hardware so, let's try to change the hardware here. The parts which I'm using now are not part of your starter kit. Yeah? So don't get confused because I'm using quite some, some stuff. But I will explain what I'm doing. Yeah? So it should be interesting for you. One thing I'm using is this, this thing here. It's a 24 volt. It's a 24 volt source. Yeah? We can plug it in here to 230 volt. Yeah, I have this plug here in my hand, so it's not plugged in. 230 volt, and up here we will get out. This side will get out 24 volts. Okay. This one I don't need anymore. 
this will be removed. This will be replaced by, by this one. However, I do not want to use the 24 volts directly out of here. Yeah? 24 volt, I mean, this motor has 6 volt. I said a little bit overrating. Okay, yeah, but factor 4 <laughs> is factor 4, yeah, should not, should not be done, I would say. So, one thing is for sure, the logic in here has still to be, has still to be supplied by 5 volts. So this 5 volt here, I will take them from my Arduino. The logic I can supply, no issue. Also the minus I will put there. Yeah. Uh, how to control the voltage here now? I have here something which is called a DC-DC converter. Okay, that has an input side and an output side. Yeah. The input side I will connect to my 24 volts here. Yeah. Please also. Notice red and blue, this is standard. Yeah? So I will apply now the 24 volts here. <laughs> Connect it. So we here here we have on the primary side 24 volts up to here. On the secondary side I can select how much output I want to have, yeah? And I will. I have connected these little, these little connectors. They are really convenient because I can also use them in my breadboard. That's nice. So I will now try to plug in my let's there. DC OK slit. Wunderbar. This also seems to have power. Everything looks fine. So let's see. Let's see how many volts we got. Let's see how many volts we got. I have here my measurement device. Let's see what's the result. Zack, zack. 5 volt. Okay. Does not sound too dangerous. Can you see it? Can you read it? Move a little bit to the light. Here you see 4.9 volts. Okay. I will turn now the screw and apply this. I don't know. Let's apply it this to 6 volt. Let's adjust this to 6 volt. Because that's the rated power of my of my motor. Six point whatever volts. Okay? Looks good. So here I have six volts now. I of course also have to connect the ground that the ground the reference voltage is the same. Okay. Reference voltage is the same. Here the power supply I will simply shift to the 5 volts now to the, to the 6 volts now. So the power supply for the motor I have taken out from here and applied it to the 6 volts. Yeah. And also I need to, to get my ground Connect my ground from one side to the other, and then we should be already fine. So let's plug in our Arduino and see what is happening. Whoa. Pretty much the same as before. Okay, now we stop. This was this direction, and now we start in the other direction, and it's still, you see. In the second step at least it will start. Yeah, at, at the second step at least it will start. Now we're going up to full speed and full speed in the other direction. This is happening with this is happening 
with 6 volts now applied. Yeah? Working a little bit better than before. Yeah? So if this is better, yeah, then maybe just apply a little bit more. Why not? Yeah. We are in a safe area now. You are at your at your desk, I'm at my desk, but maybe in the explosion, in the splash zone. <laughs> splash zone, hopefully not. So we have the six volts. I will increase it. I will increase it. Let's go up to nine. Nine point one. Okay. Now we have nine point one. Plug in our Arduino again and see what is happening. Whoa! This is something else. Yeah. Now, with that big amount of, of, of voltage, let's see first step. Ah, not even now. But this is getting really fast now. <laughs> okay, so you see the voltage level has an effect on the speed of the fan. Yeah. And we can still, still, ah, now it was working. And we can still uh, adjust the speed and the direction of the fan with this handy little device. Yeah. Yeah. The L. Unplug it. Okay. So, this is the L293D motor driver. A look in the data sheet, we see that the maximum voltage for this L293 motor driver are 36 volts. So, the secondary voltage should not be above 36 volts. However, this is usually enough. You could use this motor driver also to drive, let's say, 24 volt relays. Yeah. It's working pretty well. And this now is your task. Yeah. Add two buttons, one for increasing, one for decreasing. You can use, of course, your standard power supply, which is which is part of your of your delivery. Yeah. Please use this one. I'm still using this this nine volt thing, yeah. So if we press on acceleration, it should turn in one direction, yeah, up to maximum. If I stay on maximum, yeah, nine volt baby. Other direction gets slower, slows down. Yeah. And you see this one turned in this direction, and this one I can break and then turn in the other direction. Okay, and also up to maximum. Yeah. At your at your side, this will not be ah mm, cooling. This will not be that fast of course yeah because because you don't have nine volts at your side okay so this is the task reset stop it <laughs> this is the task that's it for this DC motors Okay, so we can now control DC motors quite decently. Next time we'll try to read something in again. We will do this with the so-called encoder. What an encoder is and how it is working will be explained in the next video. Okay, so long. Thank you very much for listening this time. You next time. Goodbye.